spelling power. I am so excited to be adding in spelling power to my two older one, my third grader and my sixth graders um, curriculum this year. They are going to be doing one <laughs> spelling thing. I don't have to have two spelling books or workbooks or anything like that. It's going to be one spelling um, book. And this works for ages eight to adulthood and um this is the only thing that i would need to be able to do spelling with them and it's about 15 minutes a day and i'm super excited um because spelling is really something that i want to do better at it's something that both of my kids didn't test very well on um and so i really want to instill a curriculum that we can um kind of follow through with and just help us better when it comes to spelling so spelling power the second thing that i'm adding in for my two older children is typing typing is such a skill that is needed for writing for anything <laughs> in this computer-based world and so i am definitely going to be adding typing into their curriculum um and i think that that is just super important and it's actually a life skill that's going to help them um i am adding in a ton of things as you will see but i just wanted to say that it's all going to be on a loop schedule i'm not adding in um <laughs> on a daily basis they are going to be required to do all these things it is definitely going to be on a um on a loop schedule that they will have to do these things next thing that i am adding in for all of my kiddos is the bible's story now this is a curriculum designed by my friend rachel over at seven and all um her company is called where'd you learn that and they've got a bunch of things from purely preschool um to the, there's this new alphabet curriculum they've got a bunch of different curriculums so one of the things that she's got is the bible story which really dives into the bible story the physical bible like how did it come to pass and um where it originated from and all the things and this my i found my older my oldest son asking a lot of questions about that when it comes to the bible and so i thought that just understanding what we believe why we believe it our foundation is the bible and so just super excited to dive into this unit um this year and we will be doing this one day a week so we're doing who is god four days a week and one day a week we'll be doing the bible story now for my older two children i'm going to be adding in logic but um not apologetics which logic and rhetoric and those types of things i'm going to be adding in um for myself when my sixth grader goes into seventh grade but for now i just wanted to establish just some basic logic critical thinking skills type things like um sudoku and um crossword puzzles and um, word searches and different things like that just to get the brain flowing and pumping in the morning so they obviously won't need to do all of these things every single day but maybe just a sheet from a book that i choose that is hey do this sudoku do this um, um crossword puzzle today or whatever um one of the ones that i love is lollipop logic um it's just really really cute and just really works on the critical thinking skills so oh and balance blenders that's a good one too Balance blenders is really good. All right. Okay. Both my third grader and my sixth grader asked to do coding this year. And so I decided to add that in as well. So they're going to be doing coding games from scratch, utilizing this book. Um, they'll be assigned one um, thing to do um, during the week. And that will be how we utilize coding this year. I'm thinking about possibly um doing a coding course for my oldest but it just depends because he's got a lot on his plate right now so i just thought we'll start off with the coding from scratch book first or continue with the coding from scratch book because he's done like half of it in the past now 
in addition to both my oldest and my youngest i ordered their new explode the code books which i wasn't necessarily planning on doing explode the code this year but after further diving into um just especially my oldest's um language arts curriculum that I had established for him you know he's doing IEW structure and style and he's doing fix it grammar but I realized I haven't he really doesn't have any phonics in his curriculum and I don't necessarily think that he's like at that phonics reading level but I don't think that um having that refresher or having that at least for this final sixth grade year I don't think that it would hurt and so um I spoke with him and um we're going to go ahead and do Explode the Code 8 for him. That's his final book. And then he's done with Explode the Code. And my daughter's going to go on to Explode the Code 3. So in addition to that, they are going to be doing worldly, wordly wise this year. Um, I have heard some good and bad things, mostly really good things from um, parents when it comes to word, wordly wise. And then kids that have done wor world Lee wise just being like this is the worst thing ever so we shall see if we actually stick with it um but I have never done a vocabulary cur curriculum for my children and um that's just a gap that I feel that we do have and so we're gonna try it um if it doesn't work then it doesn't work but um we shall see I'm also it's like 15 lessons i think in each book and we're really going to spread that out over 30 weeks and so they should have plenty of time to complete the book so that we don't necessarily need to be rushed or need to be doing a lesson a day or anything like that so we'll see we'll see i'll let you guys know how i feel about world world wordly wise now another add in is for my sixth grader um i went ahead and added in skill sharpeners reading for him, um, we are going to be doing uh, reading comprehension S with sunlight in the sense that like he's going to be reading and I'm going to be asking him comprehension questions in regards to literature that he's read. But I also wanted to really um, get some sort of um, just skill sharpener, you know, quick supplemental book when it comes to reading comprehension and fluency and um, different things like that. So I thought we'd try the Evan Moore um, skill sharpener book. He's he, like, I, like you guys have heard from me in the past, he is an avid reader. And so he enjoys reading. And so I think giving him an opportunity to read more and answer comprehension questions just wouldn't be a big deal for him, especially if it's on a loop schedule. So we'll see. We'll see. Now with my little ones, I am adding in Nature Reader from Christian Liberty for them, the kindergarten one. And this is just going to be a time where we sit down and we read and, and about an animal and answer some questions. So like... L is for leopard and we'll read about the leopard and different facts about the leopard and things like that and then answer three review questions and stuff like that so it goes through a bunch of different animals in alphabetical order um you know manatees and newts and ostriches and penguins and all the things and i just think that this would be just a cute little way to add in a little science and a little reading and cuddle time with them they'll enjoy it they love learning about animals wild crabs and all the things so they'll love this so that is what me and my little ones are going to be doing in addition to that i'm adding in the big book of science and nature as well to do with the little ones and it's the same concept we'll just sit down and we'll read together so it's more so like story time and just find out and learn about all these different types of science and nature concepts together in a fun way by reading picture books and things so now for my two older ones, I am adding in um, addition facts that stick and multiplication facts that stick. Now this is, I believe these are each, I want to say 10, 15 minutes. So 15 minutes a day each working with me. Supposedly it's very hands-on, it's very much game-based and to help learn the addition facts and the multiplication facts i've been noticing some thing you know just a lot of like 
difficulty with quick recall when it comes to the facts. And so I figure my little ones play with me all the time. This will help me and my older ones have some time to bond and play um, together and learn our facts in the process. Like I said in the beginning, all these additions are on a loop schedule. It's not things that are being done every day because I know it looks like a lot, um, but it's not things that are being done every day. It's things that are being done maybe one or two times a week. And it's just to enhance and enrich what we're already doing. Thank you so much for watching. I will have as many of these things linked in the description if you guys wanna check them out. If you have any questions or wanna see a flip through of any of these things, let me know. Maybe I can do something on my Instagram. And until next time, bye.